Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Atta Parakamlam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parejana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Vitam Sya Om Ajnana Timaranda Sya Gyanajana Shilakya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tazmai Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bistam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Vidam Ujjvalam Varatanam Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Bande Vishwa Guru Shah Divyad Bhagavad Prem Noe Bijapranam Devam Divyatanam Suchandavaranam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyam Budim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Varam Bandaitam Shivaram Madhika Sharanam Nyashi Shrara Sri Dharam Sri Siddhanta Saraswati Vidito Gaudiya Gorvan Vahe Bhato Banhori Vaprabhata Gagane Yogora Sankirtanai Maya Bharata Mingilo Daragadan Udritya Jivani Man Krishna Prema Sudam Digahana Sukam Pradat Prabhum Tambaje Bansha Kalpatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Nam Pavanibhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo 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 Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gaurata Vise Namo So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is Madhya Lila, Chapter 12, The Cleansing of the Gundicha Temple. Sri Gundicha Mandiram Atma Brindai Samarjayan Shalanatha Sagora Svachita Vachitalam Ujvalam Cha Krishna Bhavesho Paikam Shakara. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu washed and cleansed the Gundija temple with his devotees and associates. In this way, he made it as cool and bright as his own heart, and thus he made the temple a befitting place for Sri Krishna to sit. Jaya Jaya Gora Chandra Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda. All glories to Sri Gaurachandra, all glories to Sri Nityananda Prabhu, all glories to Sri Advaita Chandra, and all glories to all the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jaya Jaya Sri Basadi Gaurabhakta Gan, Shakti Deho Kori Jena Chaitanya Barnan. All glories to the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, headed by Sri Vas Thakur. I beg their powers so that I can properly describe Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Purve dakina hoite prabhu jabe aila tare milite gajapati utkantita hoila. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned from his South India tour, Maharaj Pratra Parudra, the king of Orissa became very anxious to meet him. Kata khoite patri dila sarva bomatai prabhur agya hoi jari deki bare jai. The king sent a letter from his capital, Katak, to sarva bomatai, entreating him to obtain the Lord's permission so that he could go and see him. Paracharya likila prabhur agya na hoi la. Punarapi Rajatari Patri Patala. Replying to the king's letter, the Bhattacharya wrote that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not given his permission. After this, the king wrote him another letter. Prabhura Nikate Ache Jadabhaktagan Moralagi Tasabare Koriba Nibedan. In this letter, the king requested Sarvabhom Bhattacharya. Please appeal to all the devotees associated with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and submit this petition to them on my behalf. Say sabdoyalu mora hoyas 
Sadai Moralagi Prabhupade Koribe Vinoy. If all the devotees associated with the Lord are favorably disposed toward me, they can submit my petition at the lotus feet of the Lord. Tasabar Prashadi Mile Sri Prabhu Rapai Prabhu Kripa Vina Mora Raja Nahibai. By the mercy of all the devotees, one can obtain the shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. Without his mercy, my kingdom does not, ap does not appeal to me. Jari more kripana koribe gorahari rajachari jogi hoi hoi bhikari. If gorahari, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, will not show mercy to me, I shall give up my kingdom, become a mendicant, and beg from door to door. Bhattacharya patrideki chintita haya. Bhaktagan Pashagela Se Patriloya. When, when the Bhattacharya received this letter, he became very anxious. He then took the letter and went to the devotees of the Lord. Sabare Milia Kohila Raja Bibaran Piche Se Patri Sabare Koraila Darshan. Sarvabhom Bhattacharya met with all the devotees and described the king's wishes. Then he presented to the letter to all of them for inspection. Patrideki Sabarmani Hoila Vishmoi Prabhupade Gajapatir Eta Bhakti Hoi. Upon reading the letter, everyone was astonished to see that Maharaj Pratraparuda had so much devotion for the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. Sabe kohe prabhu tare kabu na milibe ami sab kohe jadi dukha se manibe. The devotees gave their opinion and said, The Lord will never meet the king, and if we requested him to do so, the Lord would surely feel very unhappy. Sarva boma kohe sabe chala ek bar milite na kohiba kohiba raja vyabahar. Sarva Bhattacharya then said, We shall go once again to the Lord, but we shall not request him to meet the king. Rather, we shall simply describe the good behavior of the king. Etabole sabe gela maha praburstane, kohite unmuka sabe na kohe bachane. Having thus reached a decision, they all went to the place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There, although ready to speak, they could not even utter a word. Prabhu kohe ki kohite sabar agaman, dekie kohite chahana koha ki karan. After they arrived at Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's place, the Lord, seeing them, said, What have you all come here to say? I see that you want to say something, but you do not speak. What is the reason? Nityananda kohe tomai chahi nibe. Nivedite na kohile rohite nari kohite bai chite. Nityananda Prabhu then said, We want to tell you something. Although we cannot stay without speaking, we are still very much afraid to speak. Jogya jogya tomai sab chahi nivedite tomana milile raja chahi jogi hoite. We want to submit something before you, something. We want to submit before you something that may or may not be befitting. The matter is this: unless he sees you, the king of Arissa will become a mendicant. Kani mudra loy mui hoy hoy ba bikari raja bog nahi chite bina gorahari. Nityananda Prabhu continued: the king has decided to become a mendicant and accept the sign of a mendicant by wearing an ivory earring. He does not want to enjoy his kingdom without seeing the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In India, there is still a class of professional mendicants who are very much like the gypsies of Western countries. They know some magical art and mystical processes, and their business is to beg from door to door, sometimes pleading and sometimes threatening. Such mendicants are sometimes called yogis and sometimes kanafata yogis. The word kanafata refers to one who has put a hole in his ear to wear an earring made of ivory. Maharaj Pratra Paruda was so depressed 
by not getting to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he decided to become such a yogi. Ordinary men think that a yogi must have an ivory earring in his ear. But this is not the sign of a real yogi. Maharaj Pratraparudra also thought that to become a mendicant yogi, one must wear such an earring. Dekiba se mukha chandra nayana bariya Dariba se para padma ridaye tulia Nityananda Prabhu continued, the king also expressed his desire to see the moonlike face of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to his eyes full satisfaction. He would like to raise the lotus feet of the Lord to his heart. Jajapi Shuniya Prabhu Kamala Hoiman Tatapi Bahire Kohe Nishtura Bachan. Hearing all these statements, Mahaprabhu's mind was certainly softened. But externally, he wished to speak some harsh words. Toma sabaricha e amare loya rajake milaha ihan katake tegiya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I can understand that you, that you all desire to take me to Kadak to see the king. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is naturally the reservoir of all kindness. And as soon as he heard the statement made by the king, his heart immediately softened. Thus the Lord was ready to go see the king even at Kadak. He did not even consider allowing the king to come from Kadak to Jagannathpur to see him. It is significant that Mahaprabhu was so kind that he was ready to go see the king at Kadak. Apparently it was never expected that the king wanted to see the Lord at his palace, at his place. But by way of being externally harsh, the Lord indicated that if all the devotees desired, he would go to Kadak to see the king. But one must remember, this may be some subtle indications, but you won't know it so easily because the Lord is going to be going to present things as if he's very angry. Paramartha Thakur Loke Koribe Nindan Loke Rahu Damodar Koribe Bartsan. Mahaprabhu continued, What to speak of spiritual advancement? All the people will blaspheme me. And what to speak of all the people? Damodar Pandit would chastise me. Toma Sabar Agyaya Amina Mili Rajare Damodar Kohe Jabe Mili Tabetare. I shall not meet the king at the. At the I shall not meet the king at the request of all the devotees, but I shall do so if Damodar will give his permission. Because Damodar Pandit is always criticizing Mahaprabhu. So Mahaprabhu says, uh, I'll do this if Damodar Pandit insists, but otherwise I'm not going to listen to all, all of you. But if Damodar Pandit, who's always criticizing him, Mahaprabhu, if he accepts, then I can think it's all right. From the spiritual point of view, a sannyasi is strictly forbidden to see materialistic people, especially a king who is always engaged in counting pounds, shilling and pe shillings and pence. In other words, concerned about his riches. Indeed, the meeting between a sannyasi and a king is always considered abominable. A sannyasi is always subjected to public criticism, and a small fault on his part is taken seriously by the public. People actually expect a sannyasi to preach and not take part in any, any social or political matters. If a sannyasi is subject to pit public criticism, his preaching will not be fruitful. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu specifically wanted to avoid such criticism so that his preaching work would not be hampered. It so happened that while the Lord was talking to his disciples at that time, the devotee Damodar Pandit was present. Thus, Damodar Pandit was a very, this Damodar Pandit was a very faithful devotee and a staunch lover of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Whenever there was anything that might touch or taint the character of the Lord, Damodar Pandit would immediately point it out, not even considering the exalted position of the Lord. It is sometimes said that fools rush in where angels dare not, or where angels fear to tread. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to point out Damodar Pandit's foolishness in coming forward to criticize the Lord. This is why the Lord stated that if Damodar Pandit would give his permission, 
he would go to see the king. There was deep meaning in this statement, for it is a warning that Damodar should not dare criticize the Lord anymore, for it was not befitting his position as a devotee. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was considered the guide and spiritual master of all the devotees living with him. Damodar Pandit was one of them, and the Lord rendered Damodar Pandit a special favor by warning him to avoid criticizing him any further. A devotee or a disciple should never attempt to criticize the Lord or his representative, the spiritual master. So that's going on. So Mahaprabhu is saying, I can understand that all of you want me to go, go to Kadak to see the Lord, but I will do so if Damodar Pandit insists, because he's always deciding what's right and what's wrong. So if he thinks this is right, I can do that. Damodar kohe tumi swatantra ishwar kartavya kartavya sab tomaragochar. Damodar immediately replied, My Lord, you are the fully independent supreme personality of God. Since everything is known to you, you know what is permissible and what is not permissible. So this is Damodar Pandit. He's, he, he came with Mahaprabhu from Bengal. He's different than Swarup Damodar. So when when it just refers to, if Damodar says it's all right, then it's all right. It's referring to Damodar Pandit, because we know he always has this habit of criticizing the Lord. He's, it's explained elsewhere. He has, he has really great love for Mahaprabhu, but he's always so cautious that he corrects the Lord on things that are not even important to him. Things that he himself would do, but he's very cautious. Like on one occasion, Mahaprabhu was befriending this young boy. And the young boy even appeared a little like Krishna and, and Mahaprabhu would always treat that boy very nicely. It was like a young boy. But Damodar Pandit was furious and told the boy, don't come anymore, even though Mahaprabhu like seeing him, and then Mahaprabhu, you know, asked, why are you acting in this way to Damodar Pandit? And he says, he says, you should be aware of this, because this boy, he's, he's nice, but he's the son of a young widow, and that young widow is very beautiful. So if you're nice to this boy, people will think that you're trying to get in good with his mother. So basically, that was his criticism, which is ridiculous. But that was his criticism, and he was very harsh and scolding the boy and scolding Mahaprabhu, and it's, that's the kind of, the Mahaprabhu, that incident occurred, and then Mahaprabhu said, you should go to Nabadi because nobody else is so, can protect my mother except you, because you're always, you're always watching out for things. So then you can go to, go to Nabadeep, keep the devotees in line there, watch out for my mother and come back every come back every year to visit me here. But but you stay in, in Nabadeep. And that's Damodar Pandit. And his elder brother, his pardon me, his younger brother, the younger brother of Damodar Pandit, Mahaprabhu, had much affection for him. His name is Shankar Pandit. And when Mahaprabhu would sometimes in his ecstasy rub his face against the wall and things like that and injure himself. So the devotees put, knowing Mahaprabhu's affection for, for, uh, for uh, Shankar Pandit, they put him in the room with Mahaprabhu to watch over Mahaprabhu. And he would do that. And sometimes Shankar Pandit would fall asleep and then Mahaprabhu would put his own quilt on on Shankar Pandit instead of using it himself. And sometimes Mahaprabhu would fall asleep and he would rest his head on, on, on Damodar Pandit. And so, uh, uh, not on Damodar Pandit, on Shankar Pandit. And Shankar Pandit became known as the pillow, the pillow of Mahaprabhu. But, so this is about Damodar Pandit, the, the one who criticizes Mahabrahma. 
So Damodar Pandit immediately replied, my Lord, you are the, the fully independent Supreme Personality of God. Since everything is known to you, you know what is permissible and what is not permissible. Damodar ko hetumi swatantri ishwar kartabya kartabya sab tomaragochar. Ami kon kudra jeev tomake bidideva apane milive tare taho dekiva. I am merely an insignificant jiva, so what power do I have to give directions to you? By your own personal choice, you will meet with the king, I shall see it. But he's not going to give the order, he wouldn't dare give the order, but he says, by your own, by your own personal choice, I know in the future you'll meet with the king, I shall see it. So. And, and he says he's an insignificant jiva, but actually, despite the fact that he criticizes Mahaprabhu, he's one of the he's one of the close associates of Mahaprabhu. He came. Four people came with Mahaprabhu from Bengal to go to Jagannath Puri. Damodar Pandit was one of them. Raja Tomare Sneho Kore Tumi Sneha Bash. The king is very much attached to you, and you are feeling affection and love toward him. Thus I can understand that by virtue of the king's affection for you, you will touch him. Although you are the Supreme Lord, you are completely independent. Although you are the Supreme Lord and are completely independent, still you are dependent on the love and affection of your devotees. That is your nature. So, still, Damodar Pandit is there, he's intelligent. He can understand that eventually the Lord will, will meet with the king. But he's not going to give that. He's not going to say, it's okay. He knows better than that. Nityananda kohe anche hoi kon jan, jay tomare kohe kora raja darshan. Nityananda Prabhu then said, Who is there in the three worlds who can ask you to see the king? Kintu anuragi loker swabhava ek hoi, istana paile nija prana natchadai. Still, isn't it the nature of an attached man to give up his life if he does not attain his? desired object, that a man can give up his own life for, for the, yeah, to obtain what is, he considers to be uh, of, of, of love to him. Like for, for, for a man could give up his life for his wife, protecting her. Jajiki Brahmani Sab Tahate Praman Krishna Lagi Patiage Chari Leka Pran. For instance, some of the wives of the Brahmins who were performing sacrifices gave up their lives in the presence of their husbands for the sake of Krishna. This refers to the day Lord Sri Krishna's cowherd boys and, and flocks of animals, actually herds of cows, were pre present. In in the pasturing grounds near Mathura. At that time, the cowherd boys, being a little hungry, they'd taken the cows to the, there. They used to travel from place to place because that way the pasturing grounds wouldn't become used up. They'd go from one place to another. This refers to the day Sri Krishna and his cowherd boys and herds of cows were present in the pasturing grounds near Mathura. At that time, the cowherd boys, being a little hungry, requested food. And Lord Krishna asked them to go to the Brahmins who were engaged nearby in performing yagya or sacrifice and to get some food from, from that yagya. Being so ordered by the Lord, all the coward boys went to the Brahmins and asked them for food, but they were denied. After this, the coward boys begged food from the wives of the Brahmins. All these wives were very much devoted to Sri Krishna and spontaneous love, and as soon as they heard the request, and the coward boys and understood that Krishna wanted some food, they immediately left the place of sacrifice. They were very much chastised for this by their husbands, and they were ready to give up their lives. It is the nature of a pure devotee to sacrifice his life for the transcendental loving service of the Lord. 
So the, they were near Mathura, and Krishna and Balaram were there. Everyone was hungry, so they Krishna sent them to where the Brahmins were performing a, a, a sacrifice. But when they went there to ask the Brahmins, the Brahmins said, look, we're busy right now. We don't have time for this. You know, they're doing this sacrifice. So then they asked the wives of the Brahmins, and the wives of the Brahmins immediately began to gather up food and take, and take it to Krishna. Some of them were stopped forcibly by their husbands, and they gave up their lives. They just... They, just by meditation or in some way, they, they left their body and went to Krishna in their, in their, in their subtle body or, or however. They just left their body behind. In other words, they died and they went to Krishna. So, so this is what that refers to. For instance, some of the wives of the Brahmins who were per performing sacrifice gave up their lives in the presence of their husbands for the sake of Krishna. So Damodar Pandita said, still isn't it the nature of an attached person to give up his life if he does not obtain, obtain his desired object? For instance, some of the wives of the Brahmins who were performing sacrifices gave up their lives in the presence of their husbands for the sake of Krishna. Ekjuktiyache jari kora abadan Tumina mili leha tare rohe tara pran. Nityananda Prabhu then submitted one suggestion for the, Lord, for the Lord's consideration. There is a way, he suggested, by which you need not meet the king, but which would enable the king to continue living. Ek bahirvas jadi deho kripa kori taha pana prana rake tomar ashadori if you could out of your mercy send one of your outer garments to the king, the king would, would live hoping to see you sometime in the future. So this refers to a bahirvas. This, literally it's an outer covering, but what it really is is, is a sannyas dodi. Sannyas dodi is called a bahirvas because it's not... It's not a regular dhoti. Regular dhoti is very long, but the, especially the dhotis of the sannyasis during that time, like Mahaprabhu would have, it's very short and it maybe goes a little below the knees, etc. It's a very shortened, like a Babaji dhoti or something. But the sannyasis, like the Goswamis of Vrindavan, they use those kind of, those kind of dhotis, and it was called a bahir, bahirvas. So Nityananda Prabhu says to Mahaprabhu, if you send one of your sannyas dhotis to the king, the king would be hoping to see you sometime in the future. But in the meantime, he would be very satisfied by getting that, by getting some prasadam from you, some of your, one of your clothes. Prabhu kohe tumi sab parama vidvan je balo hoi se kora Samadhan, the Lord said, since you are all very learned personalities, whatever you decide, I shall accept. So you can see the, the Lord really doesn't want to be bothered by this whole thing. So he says, and, and I'll, I'll, there's all, some sarcasm there. The Lord said, since you are all very learned personalities, whatever you decide, I shall accept. So... So the Lord's agreeing, okay, you can see, if it, if it makes all of you happy, send one of my sannyas dhotis to the king. Tabi nityananda gosai govindera pash, magia loila prabhu ek bahirvas. Lord Nityananda then obtained one of the sannyasis used by the Lord by requesting it from Govinda, his servant. Se bahirvas sarva boma pasha dila. Sarva Bhama Se Bhastra Rajare Pata, Patala. Thus Nityananda delivered the old cloth into the care of Sarva Bhama Bhattacharya, and Sarva Bhama Bhattacharya sent it to the king. Bhastra Paya Rajar Hoila Nanditaman Prabhu Rupa Kori 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 Bhastra Pujan. When the king received the old cloth, he began to worship it. 
exactly as he would worship the Lord personally. So that's when we had some cloth of Srila Govinda Marsh, it's that we could put that, we put that in the in the in the samadhi of Srila Govinda Marsh. And that was some flowers from a garland used by Govinda Marsh that was was there actually from the time he left this world. All that's put in the samadhi because it's 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 all obviously very special. It's a prashadam. So that when the king received the old cloth, which was really prashadam, he began to worship worship it exactly as he would worship the Lord personally. Ramananda Rai Jabi Dakina Hoite Aila Prabhu Sange Rohite Rajake Nibedila after returning from his service in South India, Ramananda Roy requested the king to allow him to remain with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this cloth is, will be very satisfying. I mean, the king, Maharaj Bracha Parut, is very happy to get that cloth. But that's not going to eliminate his desire to meet with the Lord. After Now here we go to Ramananda Roy who was working for the king. After returning from his service in South India, Ramananda Roy requested the king to allow him to remain with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu requested that. Give up your service to the government and come live with me, along with Swarup Damodar and others. Tabe Raja Santoshe Tahareya Dila Apane Milana Lagi Sadite Lagila, when Ramananda Roy requested the king to allow him to stay with the Lord, the king immediately gave him permission with great satisfaction. As for the king himself, he began to solicit Ramananda Roy to make a meeting arrangement. So when Ramananda Roy told the king that he wanted to be with Mahaprabhu, the king not only was completely happy and gave him his and permission to do so, but he continued to pay him a full salary. He didn't, re he didn't stop paying Ramananda Roy, and he didn't reduce it by even, by anything. He continued to pay Ramananda Roy a full salary to stay with, um, to stay with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu Mahakripa Korana Tomare Mori Milibari Abasha Shadibe Tahare. So when also when Sadanti Maharaj was leaving this world, he also arranged it for the devotee who was taking care of him to get a full salary. He arranged that. Some some ways, Sadanti Maharaj he knew how to he knew how to do things. He was clever on on, on many levels. Mahaprabhu ma kripa koran tomare mori milibare avasha shodite tahare shodibe tahare. You knew you knew that also, right? Huh? Yes. The king told Ramananda Roy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very, very merciful to you. Therefore, please solicit my meeting with him without fail. So the king knows that Mahaprabhu wants Ramananda Roy with him and is very, very much likes Ramananda Roy. And the Ramananda Roy had worked for the king, so the king says to Ramananda Roy, "So you have you have some position with Mahaprabhu, wants you there with him. So please help me to see Mahaprabhu, to arrange that I can have Mahaprabhu's darshan." Eksangi duijan, ketre jabe aila Ramananda Roy tabe prabure milila. The king and Ramananda Roy returned together to the Jagannath Chetra Puri, and Sri Ramananda Roy met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
Prabhupada Prima Bhakti Janaila Rajar Prasanga Paya Aiche Kohe Bar Bar. At that time, Ramananda Roy informed Ma Prabhu about the ecstatic love of the king. Indeed, as soon as there was some opportunity, he repeatedly informed the Lord about the king. So he would say, Oh, I wish I had as much devotion for you as the king does, because as soon as I mentioned your name to the king, he became ecstatic. And when I told him I wanted to go, be, wanted to resign from my service, he, he immediately accepted it. And he, just hearing your name, he became very emotional. And he said, and he, and he continue, continued to pay me a full salary. And he said, oh, whatever you can do, I, that's, I, I worship that. So this is kind of like praising the king whenever he got a chance. Ramananda Roy was doing it, but of course, in a more subtle way, very dip because he's he's he was a diplomat, Ramananda Roy, so he knows how to. Sarvabhom Bhattacharya doesn't know. He's very direct. When when he first went to Mahaprabhu, he says, he said, so uh, there's this there's a king, the king Maharaj Pratapurudra. He want, wants to come and see you. He wants to have your daughter. Very direct and blunt like that. Mahaprabhu immediately wouldn't accept it. But Ramananda Roy does it, does it more diplomatically. Oh, I wish I had the love of the king. As soon as I mentioned your name, he was ecstatic. At that time, Ramananda Roy informed Mahaprabhu about the ecstatic love of the king. Indeed, as soon as there was some opportunity, he repeatedly informed the Lord about the king. Raja Mantri Ramananda Bhyabahare Nipun Raja Priti Kohe Dravila Dravila Prabhurman Sri Ramananda Roy was indeed a diplomatic minister for the king. His general behavior was very expert. And simply by describing the king's love for Mahaprabhu, he gradually softened the Lord's mind. And it says here, it uses the word Vyabahari Nipun. So that word is very significant. Uh, Nipun means very expert. And Srila Sridhar Mars was, his title was Shastra Nipun. Very expert in the Shastra. All the devotees would listen to Srila Sridhar Mars, but he was known in that way. Shastra Nipun, and here it's describing Ramananda Roy as being Vyavahari uh, Nipun. He's very expert in in presenting uh, in presenting things to to Mahaprabhu. Utkantate Prataparuda Nari Rahibare. Ramananda Sadilena Prabhure Milibare Maharaj Pratraparudra in great anxiety could not endure not seeing the Lord. Therefore, Sri Ramananda Roy, by his diplomacy, arranged a meeting with the Lord for the king. Ramananda Prabhu Pai Koilani Bidan Ekbar Prataparudra Dekahacharan. Sri Ramananda Roy frankly requested Mahaprabhu, please show your lotus feet to the king at least once. Prabhu Kohe Ramananda Kaha Vicharya Rajake Milite Jujai Sanyase Haya. Mahaprabhu replied, My dear Ramananda, you should make this you should make this request after duly considering whether it is befitting for a sannyasi to meet a king. Rajara Milane Bhikkhu Kera Dui Loka Nash Paraloka Rahu Loke Kore Upahas. If a mendicant, if a sannyasi meets a king, this world and the next world are both destroyed for this for the mendicant. Indeed, what is what is there to say of the next world? In this world people will joke if a sannyasi meets a king. So Mahaprabhu is He's a virakta sannyasi. He's strict in every sense of the word. So he considers 
that a king is the ultimate Vishayi, the ultimate enjoyer, and he doesn't want to meet with any Vishayi. Mahaprabhu won't meet with, doesn't want to meet with rich men. He doesn't want to, he, 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 even the wives of the devotees have to maintain some distance from Mahaprabhu. Ramananda Kohe to me, Ishwara Swatantra, Koritomar Bhai to me, Naha Paratantra. Ramananda Roy replied, My Lord, you are the supreme independent personality. You have nothing to fear from anyone because you are not dependent on anyone. Prabhu Kohe Ami Manusha Ashrame Sanyasi. Kayamano Bhakke Bhyabhare Bhasi. When Ramananda Roy addressed Mahaprabhu as the Supreme Lord, Mahaprabhu objected, saying, I'm not the Supreme Lord, but an ordinary human being. Therefore, I must fear public opinion in three ways with my body, mind, and words. So, right. That's very much right. Oh, no, I can't. One can't, it doesn't matter, maybe the Supreme Lord, but he's saying, I have to be very conscious of the opinion of others with my mind, with my body, mind, and words. Shukla Bhastrari Mashi Bindu Jaiche Na Lukai Sanyasira Alpa Chidra Sarvalokigai. As soon as the general public finds a little fault in the behavior of a sannyasi. They advertise it like wildfire. A black spot of ink cannot be hidden on a white cloth. It is always very prominent. I remember once there was some, there was some person who was a new person here, was initiated, but but uh, one of the, he was in the kitchen and one of the lady devotees was in the kitchen. And she was a little dramatic at times. So this, this person, the, the, the male, male he, he was a little crazy. So he tried to uh, talk to the lady, but she didn't want to. She didn't want to converse, so he became more insistent, and then she became very frightened. So she ran away and told her father. And her father then came to the temple with with his with his wife with the with the mother of the girl. And at eleven o'clock at night. They insisted that I call the police and bring them here and ex exile the devotee. So, all right, I said, I said, um, well, this is going to be a disturbance to the ashram, so why can't we do it? The girl can go home, and we can do, we can do all this in the morning when, when everyone wakes up. But they said no. It had to be right then at night. So at like 11, 30, 12 at night, the police were brought here and nobody could get it to sleep till after two. And, and then because I had sis, insisted that it could wait till the morning, I was heavily chastised and the devotees some of the devotees here, some devotee, they called Govinda Maharaj. And Govinda Maharaj reprimanded me and said, no, they were right that I should have taken care of it immediately if there's any danger. I didn't feel there was danger and it could wait till the morning. As long as the girl was taken away, what could be the danger? But then Govinda Maharaj was consulted, I was I was chastised for that. So, as soon as the general public finds a little fault in the behavior of a sannyasi, they advertise it like wildfire. A black spot of ink cannot be hidden on a white cloth. It is always very prominent. So 
So Ramananda Roy says, you're the Lord, what have you got to fear? And then Mahaprabhu says, I'm not the Lord, I'm an ordinary human being, therefore I must fear public opinion in three ways, with my body, mind, and words. So that's really the truth. He's, of course, he is the Supreme Lord, but he's, he's speaking something truthfully. Whoever you are, you still have to fear public opinion, whether right or wrong. You have to fear it with body, mind, and words. So, that time I said, we can do it this way. No, veto. Veto. Was, I was vetoed. Prabhu Kohe Purna Jaiche Dugdera Kalash Sura Bindu Pate Keho Nakore Parash. These are some things that one does not forget. You have to learn. I have to, I have to learn by this. Prabhu Kohe Purna Jaiche Dugdera Kalash Sura Bindu Pate Keho Nakore Parash. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, then said, there may be much milk in a big pot, but if it is contaminated by a drop of liquor, it is untouchable. Jajapi prataparudra sarvagunavan tahare milina koila ek rajanam. The king certainly possesses all good qualities, but simply by taking up the name king, he has infected everything. Tatapi tomarajadi mahagraha hoy tabe ani milaha tumi taharatanoi. But if you are still very eager for the king to meet with me, please first bring his son to meet me. First Mahaprabhu sent a cloth. Now he says, okay, you want the king to meet with me? But let's start with his son. Bring his son to meet with me. Atman bhai jayate putra e shastra bani putra ramilane jena milibe apani. It is indicated in the revealed scriptures that the son represents the father. Therefore, the son's meeting with me would be just as good as the king's meeting with me. So bring his son here. It says in the scriptures that the son is a representative of the father. So, so. Rather than meet directly with the king, bring the king's son here. I'll meet with him. Tabiraya jai sab rajari kohila prabura agyayatara putra loya aila. Ramananda Roy then went to inform the king about his talks with Mahaprabhu and following the Lord's orders, brought the king's son to see him. Sundara raja putra shamala baran. Kishora Bayasa Dirga Kamala Nayan. The prince, just entering upon his youth, was very beautiful. He was blackish in complexion and had large lotus eyes. Pitambara Doriange Ratna Abaran Se Krishna Smarane Teho Hoila Uripan. The prince was dressed in yellow cloth. Pitambar. Pitambar means who's dressed in yellow cloth. Krishna. The prince was dressed in yellow cloth and there were jeweled ornaments decorating his body. Therefore, anyone who saw him would remember Lord Krishna. So, this the king's son actually was dressed in yellow cloth with jewels and everything. He was blackish in color. He did look like Lord Krishna. Generally, every Indian person always thinks that their son looks like Krishna. But in this case, the king's son actually did look like Krishna. <laughs> it had that appearance. Tare deki ma prabhu Krishna smriti oila prema veshe tare mili kohite lagila. Seeing the boy, ma prabhu immediately remembered Krishna. Meeting the boy in ecstatic love, the Lord began to speak. A maha bhagavata jahare darshane rajendra nandana smriti hoy sarvajane. Here is a great devotee, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. Upon seeing him, everyone can remember the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna, Sana Maharaj Nanda. So this is really interesting because the boy very the boy very much looks like Krishna and Mahaprabhu seeing him, this young boy, 
young he's, Mahaprabhu says, here's the Mahabhagavata. He looks like Krishna. And he, uh, he says, here is a great devotee. Upon seeing him, everyone can remember the supreme personality of God, Krishna, son of Maharaj. And the interesting thing we'll see is the boy actually by meeting Ma, by Mahaprabhu and getting the mercy of Mahaprabhu, that boy did become a Mahabhagavata, a great devotee. Kritarta hoilana ami ami iharadarshane etabali punatari koila alingane. Mahaprabhu continued, I have become very much obligated just by seeing this boy. After saying this, the Lord again embraced the prince. Prabhu Sparse Raja Putra Hoila Premavesh Sweda Kampa Ashustamba Pulaka Vishesh. As soon as the king was touched, pardon me, as soon as the prince was touched by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, symptoms of ecstatic love immediately manifested themselves in his body. These symptoms included perspiration, trembling, tears, being stunned, and jubilation. Krishna Krishna Kohe Nache Koraye Rodad Tarabhagya Deki Shlaga Korei Bhaktagad. The boy began to cry and dance and he chanted Krishna Krishna upon seeing his bodily symptoms and his chanting and dancing. All the devotees praised him for his great spiritual fortune. Tabi Ma Prabhutari Dari Koraila Nitya Ase Amai Miliha at that time, Mahaprabhu calmed the youth and ordered him to come there daily to meet him. Vidai Haya Rai Aila Raja Putre Loya Raja Sukha Paila Putre Cheshta Dekia. Ramananda Roy and the boy then departed from Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy took him back to the king's palace. The king was very happy when he heard of his son's activities. Putre lingana kore primavishta hoila sakat parashajena mahaprabhu arpaila. Just by embracing his son, the king was filled with ecstatic love, just as if he had touched Mahaprabhu directly. Say hoite bhagyavan rajarabhat nandan prabhu bhakta gana madhye hoila ekjan. From then on, the fortunate prince was one of the most intimate devotees of the Lord. E mata Mahaprabhu Bhaktagan Sange, Nirantara Krita Kore, Sangirtana Range. Thus Mahaprabhu acted in the society Thus Mahaprabhu acted in the society of his pure devotees, performing his pastimes and spreading the Sankirtan movement. Achar Jadi Bhakti Kore Prabhure Nimantran Tahan Tahan Bhikkha Kore Loya Bhaktagan. Some of the prominent devotees like Advaita Chari used to invite Mahaprabhu to take his meals at their homes. The Lord accepted such invitations accompanied by his devotees. Emata Nana Range Dina Katagela Jagannathera Rata Jatra Nikata Hoila. In this way, the Lord passed some days in great jubilation. Then the Ratha Yatra festival of Lord Jagannath approached. Pratame Kashi Mishre, Prabhu Bolaila, Padicha Patra, Sarva Bome, Bolaya Anila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first of all called for Kashi Mishra, then for the superintendent of the temple, then for Sarva Bome Bhattacharya. Tinjan Pashe Prabhu Hasiya Kohila. Gundicha Mandir Marjan, Seva Magidi Nila. When, when these three people came before the Lord, uh, Kashi Mishra, the su superintendent of the temple, and Sarvabhom Bharacharya. When these three people came before the Lord, he begged them for permission to wash the temple known as Gundicha. So this. This chapter's title is the cleansing of the Gondicha temple, and that's the main main part of this this chapter. But first, there, we in all these chapters we are hearing the kind of you might say the sub story, the subplot about the desire of the king to meet with Mahaprabhu. It's very related with everything. So, 
So, but tomorrow we'll start with this part, which 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 concerns the whole the nature of this chapter, which is the cleansing of the Gundicha temple. So, I'll stop here. Now I'll sing Hari Harai, and you remain here so you can take care. Of Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Jaravaya Maravaya Keshavaya Nama Jaravaya Maravaya Keshavaya Nama Gopa Govinda Ram Shri Madhu Sudan Gopa Govinda Ram Shri Madhu Sudan Giridari Gopinatha Marana Mohan Giridari Gopinatha Marana Mohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Dharadana Shiva Sari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Dharadana Shiva Sari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Sai Rupa Sanatam Bhatta Raghunam Sai Rupa Sanatam Bhatta Raghunam Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunam Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunam Hey Chai Gosai Kori Chana Bandhan Hey Chai Gosai Kori Chana Bandhan Jao Ite Vigna Nasha Vista Puran Jao Ite Vigna Nasha Vista Puran Echai Gosai Jave Echai Gosai Ja Mui Taradas Echai Gosai Ja Mui Taradas Tasabar Bada Renu Mora Panchagras Tasabar Bada Renu Mora Panchagras Tadir Chanana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhav Tadir Chanana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhav Janame Janame More Abhilas Janame Janame More Abhilas Echa Gosai Jabe Braje Kolabhav Echai Gosai Jave Braje Koilabhan Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavan Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavan Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriyas Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriyas Hari Nam Sangirtana Kohe Narasamuda Hari Nam Sangirtana Kohe Narasamuda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Nita Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Nita Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Nita Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Nita Gora Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo Hare Bo
जाय सपरिकार श्री श्री गुरु गुरंग गंधार्विक गिरिडारी जो की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद परमानंद सपरव जाक चरिया अष्टधार सर श्री श्री माद शीला पाति सुंदर गोविंद देव गोसाई महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद परमानंद सपरव जाक चरिया अष्टधार सर श्री श्री माद शीला पाति रकक श्री राधेव गोसाई महाराज की जाय जाय भगवान शीला पाति सुनंत सरस्वती गोसाई ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद शीला गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद शीला साक्षी दयानंद भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद वैष्णव सर बबम शीला जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जाय रूपनुग गुरु मार्ग की जाय नामचारी शीला हरिदास ठाकुर की जाय श्री रूप सनातन बात रघुनाथ श्री शिव गोपाल बट दस रघुनाथ सद गो स्वामी प्रभु की जाय प्रेम जी गो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यनंद श्री अद्वैत गदानंद श्री वासुदेव श्री गौरभक्त वृंद की जाय शीला कृष्णदास कविराज गो स्वामी प्रभु की जाय श्री चैतन्य चरितामृति की जाय शीला वृंदावन दास ठाकुर की जाय श्री चैतन्य भागवत की जाय नारायण श्रीनिवास शमनंद प्रभु की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद विश्वाभरण्य शील भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज प्रभुपाद की जाय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जाय श्री जाय ओम विष्णुपाद शील भक्ति निर्मलाचार्य महाराज की जाय श्री चैतन्य सरस्वत माधाचार्य वृंद की जाय श्री नवदीप धाम की जाय श्री राम मायापुर की जाय सुपर्शन श्री नित्यानंद प्रभु की जाय सुपर्शन श्रीमान मा प्रभु की जाय श्री कोलद्वीप की जाय श्री चैतन्य सरस्वत मत की जाय सोकेल श्री चैतन्य सरस्वत सेवाश्रम की जाय गंगा देवी की जाय तुलासी महारानी की जाय भक्ति देवी की जाय श्री वृंदावन धाम की जाय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपी गोवर्धन श्याम कुन राधा कृंद कलिंदी मन जो की जाय सामवेद भक्त वृंद की जाय श्री हरि नाम सदकृतान की जाय All the assembled devotees, Kijai, Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari Bo.